Hiya guys, welcome to my channel. Um, thanks for stopping by today. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Elian. I do uh, videos on shopping hauls, DIY, home decor, things like that. A little bit of everything actually. So um, today I am here with uh, well, what I've been buying recently in the shops. You know me, um, if you've been here before. I like being, um, I like home bargains. Um, I do like Poundland, but I haven't got anything from Poundland this time. I've got a few items from Ikea. Um, yeah, and I have a little surprise announcement at the end of this video. Um, so if you want to keep tuned for that. Right, so without further delay, I'm just going to jump in and, and show you what I've bought. Um, if I go on missing, it's because I've got all of the stuff down here. Um, so yeah. First off, I've hauled these before. I can't buy enough of them, to be fair. They're the um, plants from Ikea, the artificial hanging plants. That's them there. They're called Fetchka. But to be honest, um, the the... Ikea call all of their plants Fedjka. I don't know if that means plant in Swedish. Oh, I might have to Google that. But uh, yeah, these are only um, £6 for these. And you know, they're great for just adding a pop of greenery anywhere. I've got them all over, um, dotted all over the house. I'll insert a clip here of, um, of a couple that I have around the house. So yeah, £6 for that one. I've got the this one here. Again, it's called the Fedjka. And it's obviously a different type. You know, you can get loads of different types. Um, I've got this for my utility room. I've just got three pots with these in. All three the same. So again, that was... Um, I, don't, I don't even think that one was £6. I think that one was cheaper. That might have only been about £5 for that one. Moving on, I picked up this, which is the plant, like a plant stand. It's really, really good quality. Um, bamboo, I would say it was. Uh, it doesn't see what it is, but it looks like cane or bamboo to me. Probably cane. So, yeah, and that was only £20. Now, I bought this. I don't know if you've been here for a while. Um, I did buy a plant from Ikea last year and it was a Calathea. And I don't do very well with um, real plants. But I, do you know what? I loved it that much. Like the colours of the leaves and everything, the patterns on the leaves. Um, I just took a chance with it and I thought, I'll probably kill it. You know, mass murderer when it comes to plants. But you, you never guess what. I haven't even been that kind to it either. I did set off being kind to it. But then I, I put it in the conservatory and it didn't like. It doesn't like light. It like shared apart like places. What, what it was, it was when Christmas came and I needed to put my tree up. And then I moved it. I started moving it around the house. So it went in the bathroom. It didn't like it there. It went in the um, conservatory. It didn't like it there. And yeah, it moved to various places. It was in my bedroom for a while and I kept tripping over it. So I lost a few leaves. Um, it was looking pretty sad, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna show you it a dear. Ta da Look, she's still alive. Can you believe that? I've actually managed to keep her. I'm I'm amazed. I really am amazed. I've even grown apple trees and a pear tree and a plum tree as well in the garden. But you know what? They always do better out there than in here because they're, they're away from me. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, but she's getting a new leaf there. And she is actually getting another one. I've just spotted another one here. Just coming here. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll just ignore that one. That doesn't exist. <laughs> But yeah, she's still alive and I got a plan stand for her. I thought, oh, she, you know, she deserves like, she deserves this plan stand. She deserves to, deserves to be pride of place now. So yeah. Oh, and you know what? She, she she was only cheap as well. She was only about £9 in Ikea. I think Ikea for plants are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So moving on to the next item, we slightly digress with the plant, but I was so excited I had to show you. She was still alive. <laughs> I got this rug for my son and it's just a dark grey rug. Um, 
it's quite narrow like a narrow rug so if you're putting it between um you know some furniture it'll fit or like under a coffee table uh it's i'm trying to see what size it is okay so it's 80 centimeters by 150 centimeters um yeah it's just for his bedroom you know it's 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 going to be um you know for when he steps out of bed he hasn't got much like room so when he steps out of bed instead of stepping on the like whole laminate floor and he can step onto a rug you know um but this was only 27 pound for this so i thought that was good value for a rug um can't beat ikea i really can't beat ikea oh moving on i picked up these from ikea too and they're these lovely um cut glass they're not crystal uh well not for that price but the cut glass um glasses and the the class them as a goblet these were two pound fifty each my daughter bought these because um she's she's going to be moving out next year um and she's like getting bits and pieces for her home and um and storing them all over my house but um hey oh <laughs> uh so she bought these and i absolutely loved them and i'll been looking for them and they've never had them in stock and then I went in this time and I you know I, I saw them on the table in Ikea and I said to the guy in the, on the department you know um I used you never have these upstairs in the you know the glass section and uh, he checked up on his little computer and he says oh they're discontinued so I then robbed the cabinets in ikea because i had them like in the wall in the units and things and dotted around the store on tables and displays so i just went around and collected them all but not all of them but you know if the few i wanted like six i wanted because i've got a place setting of six or six of each i got so they were only two pound the tumblers so they do still have them dotted around in ikea um quite a few actually they were in all the cabinets um so yeah if you can't see them in the that place where all the glasses are just look around the store and you can't take them x display you can't they do allow you to do that i mean i would ask somebody first you know because probably you'd look a bit dodgy you know just like walking in the cabinets and robbing them but yeah ask somebody first they'll be fine about it though they really will so i'm just going to move on and oh i have to show you this i really do this was from um home bargains and it was 89 pence and it's this rear docks muscle soak i've got the wrong way around sorry uh rear docks muscle soak and the the fragrance is um thyme and i thought oh thyme you know like i do like thyme but not that much not a bath in it but do you know what it smells amazing it really does I mean, there might be something mixed in with a thyme, but it smells really, really nice. And do you know what? I've opened it. I've actually been, <laughs> I couldn't wait as soon as I got back from shopping. I was like, I'm going in the bath. So yeah, I picked that up and it was only 89 pence and I, oh, I love it. it. smells divine. It really, really does. Um, Right, so I think I'm going to just kind of stick on the one bargains for, for the moment. And I picked up this. I get this all the time. It's the Epsom salts. Uh, I just, I've got it. Um, I've got it. I'm looking at it now. I'll show you. Um, I'm back. I'm back. So I've got this here. Oh, sorry. That's my bathroom there. And it's the sun's um, coming through. So yeah, I've got this Apocrity jar and I picked this up from Home Bargains as well. This was very cheap. I think it was about 6 99 something like that. I've had it a long time now, but they still sell these. And what I do is I fill the, this up with the Epsom salts and leave it in my bathroom. Because um, I like it look like a kind of spa feel to it. So yeah, I put them in there. And actually what I might do is I might mix... Um, I'm gonna, cause this is only a little box, hey. You don't get a lot in. I mean, it's enough for a few baths, but cause you put a handful of this in at a time. Now my handful is going to be a lot smaller than David's handful, you know. Um, so yeah, if D with David, it's not going to last him long. So what I'm going to do is mix it in with the Epsom salts uh, in that in that apocryphy jar. So what this these this was only one pound forty nine for this bag. 
Um, so that's them. I picked up the, um, it's the lavender blue loos. So you put these in your, in the top of your system. I just, um, I like seeing the water, like a purpley colour. So I buy these. I can't remember how much these were. They were over a pound. I think they might have been about 149 for the three. So I picked those up. Um, oh, this. I love this. Um, I usually get the... What's it called? Oh, it's the pink one. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Something fuchsia. I can't remember, honestly. But it's the pink comfort one. You can get the blue and then you can get the pink one. It's um, But I love this one for bedding. I usually, like for the, the other one, the pink one I use for like every wash. But um, this one, the Lavish Blossom, is lovely. And it's part of that Perfume Deluxe collection. It's been around a while now. Um, but I use this for bedding. I, I find this last like the longest for the fragrance. So uh, my bedding I keep under the bed in like a pull, pull out drawer and what I do is I wash my bedding and then I store it in like a, in bags and then it keeps like, it keeps fresh. And then I dilute some of this down as well in, in a little bottle, a spray bottle. Um, I'm all over with this vlog. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I just had it, so I'll show you it. I mean, it's it's saying it's a hair product. It's not. It was a hair product, but I I put some um of the comfort in there. Then I fill it up with water, and then I use this as a spray on my bed and curtains and things. So I need some in there now. So yeah, just missed missed the pillows like that. Um. So yeah, I do that with that. In addition to washing my bedding. Uh, not washing, conditioning my bedding with it. So this was um, it was two forty nine for this one. Uh, oh, what have I got? What have I got? Right. So I picked up this pack of snowflakes. It's like iridescent and white. So these are great for doing like a snow scene in like lanterns and things like that so I'll be doing one of them or on windowsills so this was only 59 pence for that I picked up some gel the hand sanitizer gel so I just buy the big bottles and then I refill like the smaller bottles and um, I'll show you so I, I buy this one which is like handbag size or oh, for my son taking it to school and then I refill it with this one Oh, these are handy to keep in your car as well, this smaller size and obviously just a refill. So um, I'm trying to think of the prices of these, I can't remember. Um, I think this was like 2 99 and I think that was 1 49 for that one. Something like that, they weren't very expensive, but they were from um, from Bargains. Um, okay, okay. Let me see what's in there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give this little game away now. You know, you might not need to tune in at the end. Um, oh. Right. If you could just bear with me, I'll get the next item. So, it is seasonal and it's this um, Christmas present kind of box thing. So, it's just a foam, a foam block. There's actually nothing inside it. It's just purely decorative. So it's in this buffalo print material with the burlap, he uh, hessian ribbon round and your foliage on the top. And I think that looks lovely. And you got it in this large size. And it came in, let me bend down and get it, this medium size. So same thing in the medium and 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 you guess it if I can get it. Oh, it came in a small size too. So if I can, I'm going to try and hold them all up together. There you go, small, medium, and large. So this small was uh, one ninety nine, and I think that went up like two ninety nine, and that one was three ninety nine. 
so I thought they were really good I mean to buy the materials to make them because I did consider that you know I did think oh I can make them there's nothing to them I already have the berries the ear cone uh, the pine cones and the burlap ribbon all I would need to buy is the um the material like tartan material or, or the buffalo check one and then you know what I thought well no I'm just gonna buy them you know under a tenner and buying them so I did <laughs> there you go um so they were from home bargains right moving on b&m so i picked up this little collar in b&m with a little bore on this is for our luna uh if you know who luna don't know who luna is it's our little cat um so i picked her up from them because she's always losing them with a bell on so chases the birds away you know so she doesn't get any birds um, much to her disappointment, I guess, but yeah, keep the birds safe. And I picked up these little cardigans. Now, these are pet cardigans. Oh, sorry, the collar was £1.99. Uh, this was £4, and it's a lovely little um, penguin cardigan. Now, this is for Nokio, our little boy dog. So, that's Nokio's cardigan for Christmas. And um, we picked up, well, no, that's not for Christmas, that's for now because um, I've, cut him, I've cut his fur, um, groomed him, and I've had to cut him like quite short. So I, I think he might be a little bit chilly. So I've got him a couple of cardigans until like his coat gets a bit thicker and grows back a bit. So yeah, um, I picked up this one for Angel, and that was £4. This one was just £4. This one, again, it's £4 and it's got like a little snowman on the front skiing um, and it's like a polar neck. So that one was for Angel and then we, I picked up another one up for Lily, Minnie, Nokio and finally Bonnie. So yes, I picked up them. I think you might have guessed what the surprise is. But well, at least you go on to now. Um, okay. <laughs> so, I couldn't resist this. It's a little dog coat, a little dog parker coat. And it's got the little zips here. And the fur around the hood. Now this was £6 and this is an extra small but you could get them in like the bigger sizes, you know, for, for older dogs. But this uh, this fits little Bonnie at the minute. And if you haven't already guessed, we are uh, we do have a puppy. Um, we had five puppies. Minnie's babies there were. There were all five girls. Um, I have put them in a video somewhere along the line earlier. I think they'll spend the day with me. They might have been in that video. Um and they have gone to their forever homes now at least four of them have um really really nice homes really really nice people who you know i keep in touch with get updates on how they are and things uh, actually bonnie is going to meet up with um, a little sister summer after they've had their final injections uh, so they're going to meet up for a little walk together um, the others live too far away, you know, for a walk and things. Um, and then, of course, there's lockdown now, so that might not happen. Um, it might not happen at all when I come to think of it. But hopefully, you know, it, it will. Um, it'll be okay, you know, to, to meet up. But, yeah, they, they will do at some point. So, yeah, we, we couldn't resist to keep an you know uh, Bonnie she is a very very lovable puppy I'm going to show you her at the end of this video she's so so sweet um, and she's settled in really well she's not very puppy like you know she's not bouncy bouncy all over the place and she fits in quite well in this house because the other dogs are a bit older now you know um, so the last thing Angel wants is a little puppy bouncing all over her and Bonnie is not like that at all she just chills with Angel so um yeah, she's she's just as sweet as little breath of fresh air. Um, one of the better things to come out of this year. So uh, yeah, that means I have got um five dogs now. 
<laughs> yes, you heard that right. I did say a five. Um, although I know Kyo does spend time, um, you know, with um, with a family member, uh, just to keep them company whilst in this COVID, you know, to keep this because this family member li lives alone. So, uh, you know, it's it's nice for the company. Um, so yeah, it, but he comes every day. He just he just basically sleeps out up there. <laughs> Um, I still see him every day. So I picked up this for Bonnie too, and this one was six pound also, and it's a little. Um, oh, it's so cute, isn't it? It's another little coat for her for when she's a little bit older, um, when the weather's still going to be cold. So probably when she's having our little walk, she'll be wearing this little coat. So that was six pound. Um. And I picked her up this blanket just because we have to sort of get her used to going in the car eh, and travelling and things. So I take her on the school run with me and um, with it being a bit chilly, uh, I bought her a little blanket so she can I can wrap her up in it and she can, you know, she's going to be warm on the trips. Um, yeah, and oh, this is a, just a bit... Um, uh, this is from Aldi actually, just when I went and got my shopping in this week. I picked up these pack of three face masks. They don't have the um, thing inside, you know, where you can put the filter. But they, the, the three ply. So I picked them up for David mainly just to leave in the car. You know, I think they're alright if you're just running into the shop quickly. But I wouldn't... Um, if you if you go on somewhere for a bit longer, I would like to have the one with a filter in. So these were four ninety nine for three. So we'll see how they go. And I think this is my last item. I'm just looking around. Yes, it. Oh, it's not my last item. It really isn't. I'm just not with it, today, am I? <laughs> um, I picked up these lights. Now these were an online purchase. I bought them from Amazon. And they are these, um, the, the company is called, well, the make is Olney. Olney? Yeah. So it's O double L N Y. There you go. Now, what's great about these lights is you can buy them in hundreds and two hundreds, I think three hundreds, you know, they go up and up and up. And this is them here. You just plug it in the wall like that. And that's the little control box. But they are multi-function lights and they're multi-coloured. So you get this little remote with them. And, um, you know, these are all the colours. There's about 16 different colours. You can put them on um, and you just turn them on and off with the remote, which is very, very convenient. And you can have them on fade, jump, you know, um, like different sequences, uh, flashing and strobing and all sorts of jazz so um if you just want to put them on one single color that's fine i use these at halloween i had them in my window and i'm really sorry i didn't do a video on that but um at the time you know the puppies were leaving for their new homes and um recently i've had um appointments at a uh, hospital so yeah um yeah Anyway, lights, back to lights. So these are, as I say, a multi-function. I had them for Halloween and they were in my window. And upstairs I had them on a green colour and then downstairs I had them on a red colour. And yeah, you can have them changing, whatever, you know. So they're, they're great for any time of year, you know. I mean, people assume like fairy lights for christmas but honestly the indoor outdoor too and you can put them in your garden you know under a gazebo on your bar area on your seat where your seating area is use them for halloween use them for parties obviously use them for christmas time you know the brilliant they absolutely are and I'm, it says they're not overeating uh, because they're led and the low voltage and I'm sure these are outdoor lights. I'm sure they are. Uh, I can't see. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Oh, yes, they are. Of course they are. So light up your home or garden. So 
Oh, there you go. There we go. So that's those. Um, now I'm just looking for my other bag. Uh, where, where did I put it? I'll be back. I sound like Arnie. I'll be back. I'm just going to try and find it. Found it, I'm back. Oh, I found an escapee. Sorry, I found something else. You know, it goes with these, these presents here. And it's a little robin. Look how cute is he. Sorry, he escaped. <laughs> so yeah, it's this little robin. And he's got the same buffalo check hat on and a buffalo check scarf. And he was only £1.49. So he's quite cute, isn't he? He goes well with them presents. Sorry, so Primark. I called him Primark. Now, I didn't get enough, really, to, um, to do a haul. And, um, yeah, so I just picked up a few things. I'm just going to go through with you. Um, I picked up... Na, 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 na. Right, let's start with this thing. Uh, no, we'll start with this. So I picked up this belt. And it's one of them ones. I've got these in black as well. And it's, a, um, what's that called? Snake print. Snake. It's like a snake skin effect. So it's in the tan colour. And this was only £3. So I picked it up in... Oh, sorry, that that's the one. I think they still do this colour as well. That's the one in the black. But yeah, I, I do like these belts. Oh, actually, that's a bit different. That one's got three uh, circles and that one's only got two. I like both of them. But anyway, that's £3 for that one. And I picked up this one as well. I do like this one. So it's a kind of bigger. There you go. It's like that. So this one was four pound, and that's like the mock croc. It's not snake. I think it's a mock. It's a mock croc. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. Maybe too close there. But anyway, it's a mock croc effect. So that was four pound. Do their belts in different sizes? You know, they do them in like extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. I picked them up in the large, and I'm at eighteen, UK eighteen. So I also picked up this dress. Um oh so all oh, right, okay. It's just a tag. I picked up this dress as well. And I hope you can see that. There you go. And it's like this dog tooth check. And it's kind of green and black and cream colour. I will insert a clip of me wearing this dress so you can see what it looks like on. It's got a button down front to the waist. I'm really not keen on button to, like button fronts because, well, I burst out of them basically. Big busted and I burst out of them. But I thought I'll give it a go and if if a push comes to shove, I'll just leave the button open and wear a top like this underneath it, which is probably works out quite fine for the winter. Uh, this dress, I got it in a 20 actually. I've got to buy a 20s. So I'm usually 18, but if I buy, um, if, if it's buttoned at the front, then I've got to go up to a 20. And also if it's lined, I'm a 20 if it's lined as well. So I picked up a 20 in this and it was £15. And I'm, I have tried it on and I will tell you, it does gap here. You know, it does open a bit. Um, and that's a 20, eh? So I don't know. Um, bust of size, I am a, where am I? Yeah, where I'm at. I'm a 40E. 40E bust. Oh, God. Craigie. Yeah. I might see a bust reduction coming on next year. <laughs> I wish. Hey, guys. So, I've just put this dress on so you can see what it looks like on me. Um, as I see, the buttons are... You can see if I fasten this button. Oh, I'll try. There it kind of opens like that and just not a very flattering look at all. So I'm just going to leave that undone, leave the top one underneath like that and I've just put cream boots on. The boots are 
And there you go. I love the date yell on the front of these. These are from Dorothy Perkins. Um, oh, a long time ago, but you can get them on eBay. I have seen them listed, you know, used on eBay. So, yeah, this is the dress on. And it, it is a nice dress. I do like it. Um, I like the sleeves, you know, the, you know, me in sleeves. I absolutely love sleeves with like a detail to them, you know, either like a balloon sleeve, a puff sleeve, a raglan sleeve. Um, yeah, I just love sleeves. <laughs> So it is a really nice smart dress. What you can do is put a different belt on. You know, I would probably put a different belt on. I am in the market for a cream belt. Uh, I do want to get more belts. I haven't really got a lot. I've only got black and tan really. But I would like to get like a nice cream leather belt and definitely a white belt. So yeah, that's what it's like on. So not bad for 15 quid. It looks more expensive than that. So lastly, um, I picked up this, me and my daughter actually picked up a one and it's saying Happy New Year and my God after the year we've had don't we need a happier New Year. Yeah guys so hopefully we'll all be having a better New Year next year. So um, I just want to say um, if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up um, and please comment below. I love reading your comments um, I do try to answer all of them and um, yeah and if you, if you haven't already if you could please subscribe to my channel that would be great also and yeah please stay tuned to the very very end where you see Bonnie. Oh, she's just the cutest. So until next time I'm going to leave it here. And please stay safe and healthy, everyone. And bye-bye for now. Bye. Right, so this is our little bunny, who we are now keeping. One of five. And she's just the sweetest, cutest little girl. She's actually sleepy at the minute. She just, I think she just wants to go to sleep there. Oh. But she's currently 12 weeks old. So she's still just a baby. And she's going to have our final injection on Friday the 13th. So then two weeks after that, she can go for our first walk. Mm.